Hello everyone and welcome back to more of the Fruit of Grisai. Here we are continuing on Sachi's route. Um, last episode Sachi collapsed in the bath because Makina told her to count really really high and you know how Sachi is, she can't refuse an order. So she almost died in the bath. Luckily we were able to save her and she's doing okay now after some rest and stuff. So yeah, we scolded Makina pretty hard on that one. But let's continue. It's pretty common to hear something or other described as a micro, uh, <clears throat> microcosm of society. In particular, school is a highly popular choice. It's particularly a cliche that you can judge the health of a country by the condition of its classrooms. Declining academic performance, drug abuse, all the way up to violent juvenile crime. You can interpret pretty much any school year problem as a reflection of societal decay if you want to. But even as someone who tends to look on such arguments with skepticism, clear to me that the malign influence of our national slide into depravity has begun to rear its ugly head in this isolated society of ours. The academy of ours and society. Pissy. Whack. Oh, she slapped her. Sora, motto ikoe de naite misero. What? You say no te kanjitima. Yashi mesubutame. Alright, this is a good start to the video. First thing in the morning, I can put your random SM shows unfolding before my eyes. One can only grieve for the future of our nation. Curious to see how the others are reacting to the shameful display I look around the classroom to find. A grimacing observer. Her face all but saying, Gah, I thought those two were getting into some weird territory lately, but this is taking things to a whole new level of awkward. <laughs> a casual observer, humming to herself, she prepares for class, who glances over briefly with an expression that reads, Ah, so that's today's game. <laughs> and finally, an observer who feigns total disinterest even as she peeps past the book in front of her to take in every moment of the show. An intriguing, colorful range of variation. Perhaps one could interpret this as necessary stimulation to a stagnant group dynamic. Maybe. Only this school. Well. Pushing forward by Machiro, I reluctantly initiate an intervention with a pair of girls on the teacher's platform. Sachi, you mind explaining all this? Yes, I can see that. I'm asking you why you felt the need to do so. And she did ask last episode about that. Makina asked for this? Ah. Right, when Sachi came to her senses in Amani's room. And Sachi's not really capable of recognizing that as a joke. I had an ominous premonition in the moment I heard the sentence, but really did go through with it. In public, even. Maybe it felt that way to Sachi, but somehow I doubt Makina was taking it quite that seriously. A plot? Pipe down, peanut gallery. If you're interested, look it up on the internet in your own time. I know you use it for other things. She totally will. 
I don't know how this sounded convincing is a rare thing in its own right. It'd take a while to explain that full, but I'm sure a wise young woman like yourself would already have a rough, rough idea of what occurred, right? さすが道ちるさまです。そ、そう。私ってすごい。はい、悪い意味で。で、それ褒められてる私。すごいですから、よくも悪くも抜きん出ているという意味にはなると思います。まあ、嘘は言ってないわよね。そうかしら。ふふ、ふふ。意識しなくても滲み出る知性。さすが私。確かに、みちるのこういうとこってすごいのかも。そうかしら。<笑> Well, to get back to the point, I can't say I approve of putting on an early morning soft S&M show in the classroom. I mean, what is this? No, it's not. No. The choice of lighting is not the problem. Although, it could used to be a little bit lighter. Actually, depending on the scenario and your personal quirks. Fine. というわけで、今後はその遊び禁止。as Amane drags Makina away by the scruff of her neck, Sachi heads obediently back to her seat, a satisfied expression on her face. Hmm, Makina's clearly responsible for turning her spanking into some kind of public humiliation show, but I'm pretty sure Sachi was the one who brought up the topic in the first place, dutifully remembering a favor that otherwise might have well been forgotten. She proactively carried it out with a genuine enthusiasm. On the abstract level, Sachi sounds like a model class representative, but when you consider the specific details, it's hard to shake the feeling that something stranger is lurking behind her behavior. Might be worth seeing what the higher-ups have to say about this. I'm sure the principal knows something. After polishing off my simple lunch of homemade rice balls, I head to the principal's office. Having a productive day, did your wagashi cakes compliment the tea? Since he answered my valiant attempt at small talk with a smile, Chizira seems to be reasonably receptive to my sudden visit. Oh no, I come here with other reasons. I've got a question. I want to ask you something about our class rep, Sashi. Why? Alrighty then. Well, we had a bit of an incident yesterday. Sashi stayed in a hot bath way too long and she actually fainted. And that was instigated by nothing more than an offhand comment from mocking about counting to 10,000 in the bath. So... You don't seem particularly surprised. Is this sort of thing, behavior, a recent development? I mean, have you seen something of this sort before? So, yeah. At first, I didn't have anything at first, but... I didn't have anything to do with it, but I didn't have anything to do with it. The most surprised thing... Oh, 
Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember someone telling me about that one. Nothing serious came of that? I see. Despite all the strange ideas she gets in her head, it does seem that Sachi consistently listens to reason. That's a silver line, to be sure. Sure. Well, at the moment, I don't tend to do anything in particular. If anything, I suppose my short-term objective was just to confirm how much the principal of the school really knows about her pupils. And I don't mean the ones behind your glasses, dear. I don't? True enough. Somehow or other, this woman I'm speaking with has been entrusted with control of Muhammad Academy as an organization. I suppose it's only natural that she'd be thoroughly familiar with the quirks of the handful of students under her supervision. Yeah, I've once again realized that you are a fine woman indeed. <laughs> Smoothly swishing her crossed legs, Shizuru offers me a prototypical composed older woman's smile. Please. No, that won't be necessary. Yeah, aren't we here to learn stuff? Why are we why are we turning her away? Probably too, but this isn't a job. I don't have any pressing need to know. And there aren't many people who go asking a teacher for information on a classmate. Are there? Look, it still feels kind of awkward, but I'm making a conscious effort to talk about these things like a normal student. Try not to laugh. Hope you're right. In between stretches of peace, I plunge into the extraordinary. Between periods where I devote my attention to my part-time job, I return to the ordinary. As this ratio has slowly shifted, I've developed a persistent nagging discomfort with myself. And there's a part of me that doesn't even want to change, you know? Part of me that's uneasy about getting too used to this. If you actually mean that, you've got a pretty eccentric taste in entertainment. That makes sense. Judging from the steadily increasing quantity of knickknacks in this office, I guess I can believe it. Even as she speaks, the principal stealthily palms a few desk toys and drops them into a drawer. This instinctive sneakiness might have something to do with how she clawed her way up the ladder. Alright, I think it's about time I headed back. I've already eaten lunch, if that's what you're worried about. What's that supposed to mean? The principal winks suggestively as she speaks. Unfortunately, I don't quite follow. What does the woman want me to do? What do you want? True enough, in that case, I'll kill some time trying to guess your age, Shazir. Hmm. 37. No? We're not gonna learn? Okay. And I kind of want to know. Does she ever say her age in the games? I retract any previous compliments I may have given you. 
I'll return to the classroom. Sachi's eating her lunch by herself. <laughs> For once, she's actually spread out a proper lunchbox. A rare sight indeed. From what I've seen, Sachi almost always goes for light, efficient meals. Lunchbox today, huh? Or a bento box, as you are so want to know. I see. For a leftovers lunch, it's pretty decent spread. At a glance, she's got an omelet with Vienna sausages, mini tomatoes, and broccoli. A colorful and well-balanced assortment. Mr. Rogers would be proud. Doesn't exactly have the master housewife impression of an Amane meal, but it's fair to call it a nicely made lunch. You did cook at Machiro's request the other day, come to think of it. Are you actually something of a chef? Okay. As if to demonstrate, Sashi pulls a cookbook out of her desk and flips it open to a photograph of an omelet. It's strikingly similar to the one on her lunchbox. Oh, no need to be modest. Making it look exactly like the book is impressive in its own right. In fact, I'd say that takes a whole other level of skill. What? What? What's with you? Your thoughts always run off in these unique directions? That's what I've observed. Why would I be after I'm on a spit? What, what's wrong? What are you doing? Once the conversation comes to a pause, Sashi smoothly returns to her lunch, carrying food to her mouth with the regular rhythm of a workman on an assembly line. As I'm watching her oddly and mechanical behavior, the principal's words flit across my mind. Hey, Sachi. Hi. Hello. You swallow your food before you speak. It's rude. You can chew and swallow what you've got in your mouth before trying to talk. With a small nod, Sachi wholeheartedly devotes her attention to mastication for a few moments. Yeah. There was, actually. I was wondering if you had some sort of regular method of letting off steam, you know, managing your stress. Why not? That's honestly pretty hard to swallow. But judging from Sachi's expression, I don't think she's outright lying to me. Maybe she's just hiding something. They do say that in America, where they don't really have the concept of stiff shoulders, nobody complains of the symptoms. Maybe this is a similar case? So, what does Machiro have some daily stress relief method? そうだと思います。例えばこの前なんかは。さあ、ち、さあ、さあ。お、ミチル様、ソファの陰なんかに隠れて何をやっているんですか? She's got that damn cat, doesn't she? <laughs><笑><笑> I love Sachi. She's adorable. じゃあ何？えっとそうか。声はもう出していいわよ。わかりました。やっぱりね。それで私に何か御用でしょうか？ああ、うん。その手頃の大きさのぬいぐるみを持ってたら、私に譲ってほしいのよ。えっと種別の
さすがサチじゃああんたのチョイスで一つ選んできてちょうだいわかりました私的にはこのウサギさんのぬいぐるみがおすすめなのですがうんかわいい感じねそれからサインペンとか持ってないはいこちらにありがとうでこのぬいぐるみの額にゆうううじーって書けば完成なるほどそれを風見さんだと思って抱きしめ偽りのぬくもりに身を任せるんですね、huh. I don't think that's what she's got planned ち、ちがうわよこ、これはそうサンドバッグなんだからサンドバッグですかそ、そうよこのぬいぐるみを有事に見立てていつでも急所を狙えるように練習しておくのストレス発散も兼ねてねそうですか。All right. ということがありました。Okay, well, yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video off here, guys, and we got some interesting insight into Sachi and Machiru today, so, yeah, see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Take it easy.